Welcome back, kids. We're so excited to have you today for another installment of Our Kids Online. My name is Andrea. And I'm Bagel. And today we're starting a brand new series called Up in the Air. Bagel, do you know who we're going to be talking about this month? No, I don't. Who are we going to be talking about this month? Okay, so it sounds super similar, but I'm going to try to enunciate here. So we have one friend called Elisha mm -hmm. with an S-H, mm -hmm. and then Elijah with a J. Okay. Can you hear the difference? No, Elisha and Elisha? Elijah and Elisha. Okay, Elisha and Elijah. You got it. Awesome. So we're also going to be doing communion at the end, so make sure that you have your communion elements ready. And because it's a brand new month, mm -hmm. do you know what month it is? December? July. We're in July Close already? Though. Close. What? And this month we're celebrating something super special. Do you know what it is? It's their birthdays. It's my birthday. It's your birthday? I mean, if you guys have a birthday in July, happy birthday to you too. Happy but birthday. It's, it's going to be my birthday in this month, and we all know it's the best month of the year, right? I like July. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but awesome. So I think we can jump right in. Bagel, would you like to pray for us today? I would love to pray for us. Okay. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for another beautiful day. Please help us hear the message you have for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. See y'all soon. Hey everyone, today's Bible memory verse comes from Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. Okay, very good. This time, I'm going to say it and you repeat after me. Colossians 3, 2. Set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. Very good. Great job. This time, let's do it together. Are you ready? Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. Set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. Great job, everybody. Hi there, little chicken nuggets. Me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to TV. Hey, there you are. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Nothing like the smell of fresh air and raccoon family digging through a pile of trash. Mmm, reminds me of home. Anywho, you know why I'm stretching? Well, two reasons. One, because stretching is very important. It prevents injuries and helps you do cool stuff like this. Ouch! And number two, why stretching hey, is super important Today's is because I'm trying to get my body to get, to get, get ready for Chapter doing something three, really important. It's something that I've always wanted to do, but I never thought I could do it. It's actually number 489 on my bucket list, right after winning a staring contest with a silverback gorilla. Ready to hear it? All right, well, I'm getting ready okay, to jump out good. of plane. This time, <laughs> I'm going to say it. Who's oh, that? You repeat after Carl, me. don't Lush. do it. Katie, Three, what are you talking two. about? Don't jump out of a plane. Set your mind. You're supposed to stay inside them. Wait, I think you misunderstand. No, you don't understand. Ah. Jumping out of an airplane is a bad idea. Not. Katie, I'm going skydiving. Oh, I don't care. Wait, what? That's what I was trying to tell you. I'm going skydiving Very today. Good. So, Great you're job. not just. This Jumping out of a regular right airplane then? <laughs> Not any time soon. But isn't that exciting? I'm going skydiving. Yeah, I guess it's pretty cool. I mean, I would never do it. I don't like heights. That's the thing. I'm terrified of heights. But it's always been a dream of mine. Really? Oh, yeah. Ever since I was a kid, I've dreamt of flying through the sky. And last night confirmed it for me. I need to chase my dreams. That's awesome. But... 
What happened last night that made you want to do that? I read a story about Elisha and Elijah. Elijah and Elijah? How is that possible? No, Elisha and Elijah. Elisha and Elisha? Elisha and Elijah. You know the prophets from the Old Testament? Oh, Elijah and Elisha. Of course. Why didn't you say so? They were both prophets, right? Yeah, Elijah was a prophet during the time when most kings turned their backs against God. They were worshiping idols and mistreating their people. It was Elijah's job to receive messages from God and communicate it to everybody. Sounds like he had his hands full. So what about the story that got you so motivated? Okay, so get this. Elijah had been a prophet a lot longer than Elisha. And because of that and all that he had done, Elisha really looked up to him. That makes sense. So one day Elijah, a wild man of a prophet, told Elisha, his younger disciple, that God is going to be taking him away. Whoa. So was he sick? Nope, but Elijah told Elisha that it's time to leave the earth and be with God in heaven. Okay. So was Elisha okay with that? He was, but he wanted to be with his friend as long as he could. Both Elijah and Elisha wanted to see people fall God again. So that's why in 2 Kings chapter 2, God tells Elijah to go to three different cities. But instead of letting Elijah go by himself, Elisha told him this, As surely as the Lord lives and as you live, I will not leave you. Wow, it seems like Elisha wanted to be just like Elijah. He did, so that's why he did what he did later in the story. So what did he do? Well, Elijah asked what he could do for Elisha before leaving him. And do you know what Elisha asked for? A horse. No. A birthday party. Wait, when is Elisha's birthday? Oh, did he ask for the ability to time travel? Katie, those all sound awesome, but no, no, and nope. Elisha asked for a double portion of Elijah's spirit. A double portion of his spirit? Like how we have double portions of food sometimes? No, not quite. It was more like Elisha was saying like, hey, I love you and I like, I love the work you've done. So like when you leave, I'd love to continue that work as long as God wants me to. Wow. But wasn't Elijah like this legendary prophet and Elisha was just kind of starting out? It seems like a really big ask, you know? It was. And that's what got me so excited because even Elijah knew that was a lot to ask for. But God had big plans for Elisha. Elisha didn't let the pressure of measuring up to his friend stop him from dreaming big. Oh, I get it now. Elisha chose in that moment to dream big. I mean, wanting to be used by God the way that Elijah had been used is a really big dream. But I guess Elisha knew that with God's help, it would be possible. Yep, and when Elijah went up to heaven in a chariot of fire, now that's an exit, Elijah had left behind his cloak which he used earlier to split the Jordan River in two. Elisha picked up the cloak, struck the water, and it split for him. That's how Elisha knew that God had given him what he asked for. So because Elisha's big dream to work for God came true, this story made you want to do the same? Exactly. But I don't get it. Elisha's big dream was to serve God and help people get back on track with God. Your dream is to just go skydiving. Well, you see, Katie, I'm not just going skydiving. The other day I was talking to my friend Andy, and he said he would love to go skydiving one day. I told him I would too, but I was too scared. I said, you could have paid me to go skydiving. Then Andy said that he would. He would what? Pay me. He said he'd pay me $100 if I went skydiving. And that got me thinking, what if more people were like Andy? So I talked to a bunch of my friends and family, and if I actually go 13,000 feet in the air, jump out of a plane with a parachute, free falling through the sky, Facing my greatest fear ever? Well, if I do all that, I'm gonna raise a thousand dollars I can donate to someone in need. Wow, that's incredible. Well, Carl, I wish you luck. You and Elisha both have inspired me to dream bigger with God. So be safe and have fun. Yep, I got my glasses, I got my camera. That's all I need. Oh, can't forget the parachute thing. Hey there kids, it's me, Sam. It is so good to see each and every one of you. I don't know about you, but I loved hearing about how Elisha wasn't afraid to dream big dreams for God. Which brings us to our big idea, which is, I can dream big with God. 
So let's say it extra loud so Carl could hear us way up in the sky. Are you ready? One, two, three. I can dream big with God. Excellent. So what do y'all think we check in on what Carl's up to? Would you like that? All right, let's go take a look. Ah! Oh! Ah! 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 This is crazy! This is crazy! <laughs> wow! Looks like Carl followed through on his skydiving promise. How cool is that? I wonder who he'll donate all that money to. Who do you think Carl should help? Well, I can't wait to see what Carl does next week. Hope to see you there! Bye. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Hey guys, in this series, we've been learning about Elijah and Elisha. We've learned about how they changed the world with their influence, their voice, their dreams, and their passion. They used the gifts God gave them to change the people's hearts towards God. For example, my friend in school used her words to tell me how much God loved me and wanted me to know Him. And because of that, I grew to know Jesus so much that He now uses my gifts to help others learn about Him. So you see, when you use your gifts and talents to help others, God is using you because He loves people and wants to work through us to show everyone His love. So let me ask you a question. Do you know Jesus as your Savior? Jesus loves you and wants you to invite Him to be the Lord of your life. He wants to be your helper, your comforter, and to guide you and help you make right choices. He wants to give you strength and protect you and help you with everything in your life. So if you're ready to say yes to Jesus, in a few seconds, you can repeat a prayer after me. If you've already prayed to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you don't need to do it again. You are already saved. But if you've never prayed that prayer, bow your head and repeat after me. But guys, really mean it from your heart, with your whole heart. Dear Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner and I have made wrong choices and done some wrong things. Please forgive me for all my sins. Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins, that God raised you from the dead and that you are alive today. So I put my trust in you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. That's wonderful. If you prayed that prayer with me, you have made the best and the most important decision of your life. You are now a member of God's family and we're so proud of you and so excited for you. Now there are two things that you need to do. One tell your parent or another trusted adult that you pray to start a relationship with Jesus. Two, we want to celebrate with you and send you a, a, a special gift. So let us know that you prayed by texting the word KID, K-I-D, to 240-269-2100. And welcome to God's family. Welcome back. We just learned about Elijah and Elijah. Elijah, Elijah was a prophet that God used to talk to the people. And Elisha was another prophet God used. But Elisha wasn't as experienced as Elijah. What did you think about the story? I thought it was an awesome story. I think for me, the biggest takeaway was summed up in the big idea. Because I think it's so true that with God, we can dream big. And that's such an exciting promise for me. Absolutely. And you know what? Elijah didn't allow Elijah's feats to 
intimidate him. Mm -hmm. He dreamed big even though he didn't have as much, much experience as Elijah, which I think is super important. Yeah. Now we're gonna move on to something called communion. All right. So you can get your communion elements ready. And so we have our little trusty two-in-one wafer, but you can use any bread or crackers that you guys have at home. Um, and so just as a reminder, we do communion at the beginning of the month here at Redeemer, just to remember the amazing sacrifice that Jesus made on the cross for our lives. So we can quickly pray, Father God, thank you so much for your son Jesus and the sacrifice that he made on the cross. We will eat this wafer as a remembrance of, um, of his body. And so whenever we're ready, we can go ahead and take that. And then the juice represents the blood that was shed on the cross. And it's also a reminder that all of our sins have already been forgiven. And so we thank Jesus for his sacrifice, knowing that if we ever make mistakes, that we can always come to him, confess our sins, and know that we're going to be met with the utmost grace. So we can take it whenever we're ready. How do you feel? Amazing. Oh yeah, I love doing communion. Okay, you must be wondering what these are for. Mm -hmm. These are little thought bubbles, and I'll give one to Andrea. Oh, you'll have that one. Thank you. And we're going to write one dream we have inside this bubble. And it, can, and it can be super big, or it could just be something we've been thinking about. Yeah. You can do it too. Just if get a piece of paper. Have, yeah, if you don't have a pre-printed, you can just draw a bubble on a piece of paper. That works perfectly fine as well. I don't see the blue. Oh, here it is. All right. Are you going to write a big dream or a small dream? I think I'll do a big dream. Sharpie is barely making it. You can do it. All right. All right. Do you want to share your dream? I'll share. So my dream is I dream for God to use me in the best way possible. That's such an awesome dream. Yeah. All right. What was yours? My dream is to see all the miracles and blessings God has promised. Wow. I like that dream. I like your dream. Oh, thank you. Did you guys do it? Okay, so make sure to be here for next weekend because we're going to mm -hmm. continue our series of... I was going to say this way's up. <laughs> this way's up? It's not that, it's up in the air. Up in the air. We'll All right. see you guys next week.